on the ABC Listen app. Chiropractics is touted as curing a whole range of issues, but specifically in babies and toddlers, colic and neck pain and even ear infections. But four years ago, following a controversial video and subsequent backlash, the chiropractic board banned their practitioners from correcting the backs of children under the age of two. Now that board has decided to resume spinal manipulation of babies and the federal health minister is not pleased <clears throat> and says he'll bring it up with the state health ministers at a meeting tomorrow in South Australia. The chiropractics board president, David Cale, had this to say about it earlier. Not that. I'm just going to... Ooh, where is that gone? I'm not sure where that's gone. Um, but I now want to speak to AMA President Michael Page. Hello, Michael Page. Good afternoon, Amber Cunningham. <laughs> uh, what do you make of this decision? Uh, look, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty frightening, to be honest. I mean, after a couple of um, major reviews uh, that have been uh, conducted within Australia in the wake of the decision to ban spinal manipulation in young children, um, found no evidence that spinal manipulation in children does anything useful um, or is safe to do, uh, the chiropractic board, which is um, largely um, uh, largely run by chiropractors, um, has decided to overturn uh, the ban on its its own uh, practitioners and uh, and enable these practices to be performed. So some 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 listeners will remember back in 2019 there was a a video that I might, I might say I have seen Reservoir Dogs, and uh, <laughs> and this video was this video was was probably no less scary than Reservoir Dogs of a oh. chiropractor treating a, a young baby, and and that that video was circulated widely on the internet and led to outrage that chiropractor was banned from practice, um, and it led to this ban on spinal manip manipulation in in young children, which was the right the right move at the time. But now in the face of no new evidence that this practice is safe or effective, uh, somehow the ban has been has been lifted. Well, how would you describe the dangers? Look, um, we, we simply don't know um, what the what the long term impact. So so the chiropractors that do this kind of um, this kind of treatment claim um, that it has long-term benefits on on spinal health somehow for for young children, but the fact is, children or adults for that matter don't need spinal adjustment. There, there's there's no basis, there's no medical basis for this spinal adjustment, and the notion that it could um, cure colic or ear infections is actually farcical. I mean, it's a it's a magical type of thinking that's not based in any science whatsoever. Um, so uh, so th there's there's just really no no place for it. People and, have... And certainly sorry, yes. in... Oh, sorry. Certainly no, no, in no. adults. Yeah, in, in adults, there are, there are well-known dangers of, of some chiropractic treatments. You know, this um, spinal manipulation of the neck, for instance, is associated with strokes. So patients can... Even very young patients, fit and well patients who normally would never have a stroke, uh, can have, um, can have uh, damage to the arteries in their neck as a result of spinal manipulation and end up in, in hospital and sometimes with lifelong deficits or even death. It's pretty rare, but it, but it does happen. Uh, that's very serious. Now, people are really weighing in on this. Meg says, hi, Amber, chiropractors complete five years of uni at Murdoch WA and other unis in Australia, just as doctors do. She suggests a bit more research is needed by us folks. They have the same place as physios. That's from Meg. Um, Stephen from Balladura says, while I have reservations about the chiropractic profession, the chiropractic clinician has to be registered with the Australian Practitioners Health Regulation Authority. The APHRA is the national authority that all health professionals are required to be registered with before they can practice, um, says Stephen. Uh, I, now, I think specifically when we think of tiny babies getting involved there, is, are you against chiropractors in general or just more specifically babies? Being treated no, by look, them. I, I, look, look. I, I think a lot of um, a lot of doctors work closely with um, with some chiropractors, and 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 there are chiropractors out there who um, who practice within a reasonable scope of practice. They understand um, the role of um, you know of soft tissue therapy, uh, you know massage, remedial massage, those sorts of um, management of sporting injuries or low back pain. There is evidence that chiropractic can be effective for people with back pain. 
Um, but, you know, there's a bit of a chequered history with chiropractic. It's been closely aligned with alternative medicine and alternative practices for a long time. Um, it's been aligned with sort of anti-vaccination movements and things like that over the years. And that's not to, you know, that's not to, to suggest that chiropractors are... <laughs> Um, are all charlatans. Um, certainly there's a lot of good ones out you there. You are sidling up close to it though, aren't you, Michael it, it, Page? It does, but it, it, it does have that history as a, as a profession that's kind of quite quite well known. Um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and to be honest, I, I think a lot of chiropractors, um, um, particularly in Western Australia, have been very active in trying to trying to lose that um, lose that stigma of being alternative practitioners and that's a, and that's a, a very sensible thing for them to do. What's your advice to parents who might be considering a chiropractor for their wee ones? Look, I, I, I simply wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I think that there's, there's insufficient evidence that it's effective um, and, um, and, we, and we don't know what the, what the harms could be. Michael Page is president of the AMA WA branch. Thank you so much for weighing in on this discussion today, Michael. Anytime, Amber. Thank you.